When Storage Wars first debuted on A&E back in 2010, it was pretty much an overnight success. Its series premiere alone brought in more than 2 million viewers, and it went on to become the network's most watched and highest rated non-fiction show in years. Of course, rival networks immediately jumped at the opportunity to pump out their own knockoffs. Similar shows like Auction Kings and Auction Hunters came and went without winning over a large enough viewer base to justify their existence. But Storage Wars has endured for a solid decade now, partly to do with its colorful cast of oddball characters. And Season 13 is set to premiere on the network April 20th, 2021. It's hard to believe this series has been on the air for that long, but we can thank charismatic people like Derek the Gambler Sheets, Dave the Mogul Hester, Jared Schultz, and Brandy Passante for keeping the program afloat after all these years. But what were they like before they experienced their meteoric rise to fame and fortune? Keep watching to find out. Dan and Laura Dotson Anyone who's seen the series is well aware things can get a little testy when Storage Wars bidders start duking it out over a storage locker. That's precisely the time Laura and Dotson have to rein things in. It's kind of their job. It was this husband and wife auctioneer power couple who first intrigued critics and won over the show's initial fans in 2010. Folks praised them for their high degree of professionalism and vibrant personalities. It was hard not to like them. Don and Laura's romantic backstory began at an auction, because of course it did. They met back in 1993. Laura would often come to auction to buy restaurant equipment because she was a restaurateur managing a few different eateries. After meeting her three or four times, Don realized he'd better ask her out. By their second date, they already knew they were perfect for each other and became inseparable. Laura discovered her own affinity for auctioneering when Don fell ill one day and she ended up filling in for him. She fell in love with it and has been at it ever since. Jared Schultz Jared and his ex Brandy Passante started dabbling in storage auctions after his prior career fell apart. He previously worked in the mortgage and real estate industry, but unfortunately, the whole scene basically fell apart in California, leaving him scrambling to put food on the table. He was still working for a mortgage company when he purchased and flipped his first storage unit. He didn't really even know what he was doing at the time, but had nothing else to do that day and figured he'd give it a shot. After turning a profit, he found himself completely infected with auction fever. It didn't take long for Jared and Brandy to acquire so much that even their own storage units were filled to capacity. They tried to store the excess stuff in their house at first, but pretty soon the city issued a warning threatening to fine them if they didn't move it elsewhere. So they came up with the idea of opening a store to distribute all of it. They ended up opening the Now and Then secondhand store in Orange County. Not long after opening that, they branched out and opened a second location in Long Beach. They were already running a business flipping units when they were approached by Storage Wars producers and asked to say a few words on camera. Apparently, whatever they said was enough to secure them a spot on the show. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Brandy Passante Brandy had already been separated from Jared Schultz for more than two years when she appeared on the YouTube show Spirit Talk with Siobhan and Sabrina earlier this year. She mused about her love life when questioned by the co-hosts. She revealed she's been actively dating but hasn't made a solid connection yet. She also revealed she had a turbulent childhood growing up in Texas and often felt like an outsider even in her own home. She never felt like she belonged and found it difficult to accept her lot in life. Passante explained she's always tried her hardest to hold her own in an industry dominated by men. And when she's out in public, she's often plagued with bouts of social anxiety. As such, she says the fame she found from starring on Storage Wars has been both a blessing and a curse. Mary Padion Mary joined the cast of Storage Wars Texas in 2011. After the spin-off series was axed in 2014, she switched to the main series. Love it or hate it, she received the nickname of The Junker by A&E. Pattyan is a graduate of the University of Texas where she studied journalism. She then moved to New York and scored a job at a prestigious magazine. She served as assistant editor at Architectural Digest where she mentored under editor-in-chief Paige Rents. Then she moved back to Dallas and opened a secondhand store called Mary's Finds. In her store, she sells a diverse mix of refurbished and repurposed furniture, vintage, handmade and rare housewares, and other oddities. Renee and Casey Nizota 
Husband and wife team Renee and Casey earned themselves the nickname The Bargain Hunters after joining the cast of Storage Wars during its fourth season, and they quickly established themselves as fan favorites. Renee grew up in Germany but credits the unique opportunities she found once in America for her success. The Nizotas started out with less than $1,000 to work with, but it was their perseverance and keen eye for treasures that helped establish a business still booming to this day. Renee has been buying and selling wares since she was 11, and Casey's also been flipping merchandise since he was very young. Daryl Sheets Before he was a storage unit guru, the gambler, as he's come to be known, used to work as a landscaper. He wasn't very good at it, though, and pretty soon found himself unemployed. After running into financial trouble, he went back to his old boss and begged him for another chance. Instead of hiring him back on, though, he promised to show him how to make money another way. That was, of course, to flip storage units. He decided to take his ex-boss's advice and try it out himself. The first locker he bought, he tripled his investment. After that, he was hooked and has been buying and selling units ever since. Brandon Sheets Brandon is Daryl's son. He used to go by the nickname The Side Bet back when he was on Storage Wars. At first, he was essentially just his father's sidekick, accompanying him at auctions. Eventually, he started bidding on his units. At one point, he even bid against the old man himself. Brandon struggled to be taken seriously before finding his reality TV fame. The storage unit auction game is a difficult nut to crack, and a lot of the old heads will try everything within their power to run a young newcomer out of business, especially if they have a problem with them. Brandon learned these lessons the hard way. These days, he seems to have left the storage unit business behind, and has instead taken up a much more traditional job as a UPS driver. Edwina Register and Shayna DeHaan By the time Storage Wars was on its 11th season, it was in need of a shot of new energy. That's why producers brought on lifelong friends Edwina and Shayna. They previously maintained the YouTube channel Thrifters Anonymous, where they shared their rare and valuable secondhand finds for many years before being discovered by the network. Edwina and Shayna have been friends since high school, where they met an orchestra. They hit it off immediately and have been close companions ever since. Even when it came time to go to college, both women attended University of Nevada, Las Vegas, so they wouldn't have to separate. Dave Hester Dave went to his first swap meet with his father in 1969. Ever since then, he's had an affinity for finding hidden treasures and outbidding the underdogs. He's earned himself the reputation of being the bad boy of bidding and has established himself as the show's resident villain. He can be highly opinionated and fairly abrasive and has gotten into altercations with fellow crew members on more than one occasion. Barry Weiss On Storage Wars, he's known as The Collector. That's because he was rich long before the show was even an idea. Instead of searching for treasures to resell and turn a profit, Weiss instead looks for rarities worth keeping for his own private collection. Over the years, he's amassed quite a collection of valuables and collectible items. Before buying storage units at an auction, Barry owned his own produce company, where he acted as both the importer and exporter alongside his brother. He was in the produce business 20 to 25 years before scoring the Storage Wars gig. Storage Wars producers discovered him while he was traveling around the world, spending his fruit and vegetable loot. He was featured in four seasons and given his own spin-off show. Buried Treasure was canceled after a short eight-episode run. The follow-up series, Storage Wars, Barry Strikes Back, was also canceled after a season. Since then, he's returned to the main Storage Wars series. Now we'd like to hear from you. Which show do you like more, Storage Wars or Pawn Stars? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.